We talked to the victim of this attack. You're going to hear her part of the story in just a moment. But off camera, we also talked to the family that owns the pit bulls. And they tell us that police showed up on the day of the attack but did not file a report. And they also tell us LA Animal Services has not followed up. The video of the dog attack is so disturbing, Kiyoki's owner can't even watch it. It, it just lasted so long and, and it was horrible. It was just horrible. Jasmine Amaya was on her morning walk with her dog near her home in Koreatown. That's when two pit bulls escaped through an open gate and attacked her seven pound terrier mix. It's like my hands were around him and I can feel every tooth like sinking in my hand. I just felt like nobody was doing anything to help me. And it just went on for too long, and it got to a point where I was like, oh, man, he's gone. Amaya was knocked to the ground as she tried to protect her pup. Finally, a man who lives at the house with the pit bulls pulled the dogs off. Amaya rushed Kiyoki to the vet, and despite surgery to save him, and a medical bill that could go above $21,000, Kiyoki did not survive. It just hurt me so bad because I just knew, like, I knew he wasn't going to make it. And I was like, I'm right here, okay? I'm like, I'm right here. Don't worry, I'm right here. Kiyoki wasn't just a Maya's dog. He was a service dog, bringing joy to the senior citizens he visited here in L.A. They look forward to seeing him every week. They really, There's something really special about him. Like, he's really soothing to be around. We reached out to the L.A. Department of Animal Services, but they were not able to give us details about the case. Amaya still recovering from the attack physically. She had puncture wounds on her hands. And emotionally, she's scared because the pit bulls are still just down the street, and she is sad. I just feel a huge absence, and it, it, and it hurts all day, like every day. Amaya tells us at this point she is not interested in filing a lawsuit, but she does want the dogs removed from the neighborhood. In Koreatown, I'm Sandra Mitchell, KTLA 5 News.